Shall we eat, Chef? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what else would Hello. It's the start of a brand new year, and like every year, we're sure you have a resolution to eat healthier. Today, we're going to show you the delicious way of doing just that. Welcome to another episode of Meeting Masterclass, where we discuss all things meat with our in house meat experts. I'm Chandni, and with me today is culinary wizard chef Gaurav. In our last episode, we discussed lean meats and gave you a few examples of lean cuts of chicken and mutton, along with tips on how to cook them. If you haven't watched the episode yet, you can find the link here or in the description below. What are we going to talk about today, chef? So today we're going to go over the different types of fish and different ways to cook them and prepare them. Okay, sounds great. Is it true that fish is healthier than meat? Absolutely. Seafood in general is a very healthy source of protein. Many people eat fish on a daily basis, especially near the coast. It's a it's a daily staple and people eat fish every day. I keep hearing about fatty fish. What are those? So fish like salmon, tuna, sardines, mackerel, all are fatty fish or sometimes called oily fish. But you have nothing to worry about since they all have the good kind of fat, uh, which is omega 3s and are very good for your heart and cholesterol. These fatty fish also tend to have a more fishy taste. So if you're not used to that flavor, you might not like them as much. Yeah, I mean, now that you mention it, I don't really like salmon and tuna, but I quite enjoy palm frit and tilapia. So why do you think that is? So fish like tilapia, seer, basa, rohu, uh, they're all leaner fish, so they have less fat. So they don't have as, as much uh, of that strong fatty flavor as you would find in the other oily fish. Got it. What about basa? I read somewhere that it's a very dirty fish and I should probably be avoiding it. So, basa is a variety of catfish that can survive extreme conditions. It also has a natural ability to absorb whatever um, is around it and depending on what surroundings it's growing in. So, in that case, it can absorb nutrients from contaminated water, which can be toxic if you consume it. So, now when you don't know where the basa comes from, it could be risky to consume since it could have uh, toxins in it. But if you're ordering from Licious, uh, you don't need to worry since our basa is farmed and we make sure that the water it lives in is clean. Okay, so once I choose the fish uh, that I want to use, what do I need to do to prepare it? When you order from Licious, you don't have to do anything. So at Licious, we prepare the fish for you. Our fish is flown in from rivers and uh, coasts from around India and it's brought to our processing centers where we clean it with RO water we descale, we degut, and then we prepare it based on what you want. So here we have different types of cuts. So we have a we have a fillet, uh, we've got steaks, we have boneless cubes, we have whole clean gutted fish as well. So you have a wide variety to choose from. Chef, could you show us a fun way to cook the fish? I just end up frying it usually or tossing it into a curry. So frying fish is obviously great, but uh, if you want to go with a healthier option, steaming it is a, is a good way to go. So why don't we use this uh, pomfret frit uh, today and I'll show you how to steam it. Sounds good. Yeah. So now we're going to start with steaming the fish. So the first thing you need to look out for is that your fish must be fresh. If it is frozen, it's not going to taste as great. So just order your fish from Licious because our fish are always fresh, never frozen. So uh, first thing we're going to do is, so what I've done here with the pomfret frit is, uh, if you can see that uh, I've uh, scored it. So this is important so that the marinade penetrates properly. Sure. Um, and uh, yeah, now we're going to marinate the fish. Okay. So now we're going to start with marinating our fish. So I've just prepared a um, marinade with uh, coriander here, blended coriander with a few spices in it. Okay. So we're going to start with marinating. Um, don't worry, use a generous amount. Okay, and make sure you when you marinate, you get the masala into all the grooves, okay? And yeah, don't worry, it's gonna be a little messy, but it's fine. But just ma make sure you get enough marinade. Messy's flavor. Yes. Okay. So now that we've marinated our fish, uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it. So for t uh, today, I'm using a banana leaf to wrap the fish. Uh, why are we wrapping it? Uh, so when you wrap the fish, you seal all the flavor inside and steam gets generated inside the banana leaf. Okay. So it seals in all the flavor of the fish and uh, cooks it perfectly. Okay, and if I don't have a banana leaf, what else can I use? So you can always use um, parchment paper or foil to uh, oh, great. wrap and cook your fish. Yeah. Great, awesome. 
So now that we marinated and wrapped the fish, we're now going to steam it. So I've already started uh, simmering the water here. Remember, you do not need to boil the water, just simmer it. I'm going to put the fish in here now. So how long are we going to cook this for? Uh, so a fish about this size and this thickness will take roughly about 8 to 10 minutes to cook. Okay. And what if you just leave it in there for a while? No, I, I try to avoid overcooking it because uh, post the 8 to 10 minutes, your fish is going to start drying out. Okay. So uh, we'll be back in about 8 to 10 minutes to take a look at this fish. And now by the magic of editing, there you have it, steamed fish. Thank you so much for that masterclass in Fish Chef. I'm so excited to try and steam a fish at home and I hope you are too. Do let us know in the comments if you try out these tips and give this video a thumbs up to see more from us here at Licious. Thank you for watching Meaty Masterclass. Bye!